Hello, this is Dr. Rhonda Johnson, and happy Saturday, July 16th, 2022. I'm talking today about outdoor transmission and the risk of BA5. You know, throughout the pandemic, we've always stressed that outdoor gatherings were safer than indoors, but BA5 is so contagious. It's almost contagious as the measles virus, the world's most contagious virus. And because it's so contagious and it evades immunity, you may want to think about modifying and adjusting your COVID prevention strategy outdoors. Because routine activities such as talking, singing, yelling, let alone coughing and sneezing, can transmit hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of viral particles in the air. And how far these viral particles travel depends on variables such as wind speed, air currents, as well as how close you are to someone else. So if you want a quick sound bite, you may want to think about wearing a mask outdoors, especially while you're in crowded places during this BA5 surge. When the community transmission levels go back down, you know, it's time to reevaluate. So during, during this uh, pandemic, throughout this pandemic, we have to constantly modify and adjust. And by now we should be getting used to it. It's not that hard after all. Now, some examples how you can make small changes when you're outdoors that might lower your transmission risk. Again, I'm not thinking of everything. You'll be in situations that you will automatically modify and adjust. So like if you're taking walks, walking is so good for us. If possible, you know, try to take a path that uh, is not very crowded or walk at a time of day that is not very crowded. Going to an amusement park, you know, those lines where you're crowded like sardines waiting to get on the ride. Maybe just pull that mask out your pocket, put it on, and then take it off once you're walking around. Uh, remember about getting gas, you know, <laughs> you don't know whose hands have touched that pump uh, in those buttons before you. So don't forget to wear, use hand sanitizer when you get back in the car. And I actually put a mask on when I'm pumping my gas, but that's me. Now shopping or walking through downtown, you know, if you're in the crowd, it's a simple message. Consider wearing a mask. Dining out, you may want to dine out outdoors and have fewer people at each table. You know, swimming, there's no evidence that pool water or hot tub or water playgrounds, the water doesn't transmit the virus. The people transmit the virus through the air. So when you're changing indoors and using the bathrooms, those are high risk scenarios. Be sure to wear the mask. Now, again, this is summer. We like to go to concerts, sporting events in the fall, festivals in our communities, and a lot of people are protesting. Just remember, more people closer together, the more risk of getting COVID. Mask up if you don't want to get it. Your vaccines and your boosters, folks, aren't going to help you. Neither is your natural immunity. Avoid this B5 variant. That's my message today. As always, please take care. Have a good weekend and be safe.